What's up guys, this is Seth with s and Family Farms. Um, today we're not going to be on the goats. We're actually going to be putting up lights around the place. Trying to try and lighten everything back up. And we'll, I'm going to go over some of the goat feed that I feed the goats. So, um, yeah, there ain't much to do with the goats today. We're, we, there ain't much to do with They roaming around, eating up. and Hopefully have some babies on the way for soon. But yeah, y'all stay tuned, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and the like button, and the notification bell. Leave a comment on what y'all like I'm to see. Using. <clears throat> I got these from Royal King from down here. These are, I think I bought them for, they were 25 a piece. I bought three of them. And they're pretty bright. I already put one up. I put one up yesterday. And went back and got two more. I'll leave the link in the description for these. But, um. They're the real work lighting. And they're pretty bright. I mean, they don't, they go pretty wide. And it comes with your, your user manual hardware. But these little bitty screws don't seem to hold much. So I'm upgrading these big, these big wood screws. And they're about, i say about two inches long. Just a regular, see if it'll focus. Regular Phillips. And if you don't, if you didn't see any of the screws I used from the last video, I used about a four and a half inch screw to build their little little house. But <clears throat> they're pretty, they're pretty nice. I mean, they're solar power, which is what I want. I ain't, I ain't a damn electrician. On the back of it, you have your own. Oops, upside down. You have your on and off, and then a the little plug in for the solar. And up here. You have your settings to when when you want it on, what sensitivity you want, and what time of the day you want. So I mean, they're it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it ain't it ain't it don't take rocket science to put these on. And don't mind my table. I had to use a hay bale and a piece of plywood, but um, I ain't ain't got me a table yet. But we're gonna put these two up. Installation is really easy, especially if you just have two by fours like what my little carport's built out of makes it a lot easier so we're gonna get these installed and i'll show you how to do that all right guys so we got this one put up oh, right there oh, excuse the mess but as you can see <coughs> she ain't too fond of the goats she don't she don't like them too much and the only thing they're doing is just sitting over there laying down one standing up y'all bear with me but we did get this one oh let me zoom out we got this one put up and the way my house is my house lays east to west so i have to put all my light solar lights on this side or at least all the solar panels so there's that one i'm actually going to move it most likely but these solar panels do come with 15, right at 16 foot of wire. I just ran it up and just zip tied it up, just laid it up there for right now. But as you can see, they're it's it's on and it's it, they're pretty bright. I mean, ain't bad for you know 25 dollars. Alright guys, so we got this light done, figured up, and I haven't decided where I'm gonna my third one at. I need to put one off the back of the house, but it's kind of hard to. Just because I had to put the solar panel back up here with this one. But I ain't decided yet because, like I said, all the sunlight comes down on this side of the house. But we're going to move on to something else. I'm going to go over. Don't mind the mess. Just trying to clean up. But this is the goat feed I use. When I first got the goats, I used this all wet stock and premium cracked corn so, and the only thing i do is i take it i put a cold scoops in there and just mix it up that's all you gotta do the three goats I've, i got the goats on the third and i'm right at half a bag on both of them so 
Yeah, I, I got a scoop. This is my scoop I use. It's just a three quart scoop. Nothing special. And I fill it up about to a little over a quart. I fill it up right there where that little flap is right there. And I just, I feed that much to them. There, right now, because it's real cold, I give them a little bit of grain twice a day. Just whenever I leave for work, whenever I come back home, but I'm going to start feeding them this goat feed. And where I buy all my feed from is Royal King and Dothan. And this all stock, I think it's like eight bucks a bag, eight, between eight and $10 a bag. Crack corn is about $8 a bag. This is about 13 a bag. And they have a different variety that's medicated. And it's got a bunch of stuff in there to prevent. Um, I forgot what it said, prevented. But it's a medicated bag. And I'm going to try this first. The medicated stuff's a little cheaper. But this is what I want to feed them. It's got a bunch of, a bunch of the stuff that looks like. Let's see this is on the back, bottom of the bag, all wrinkled up. But it's got a bunch of the grain products in it. And it seems, I mean, this is my first time doing goats on my own. And going off of what I've read, what I've seen other people use, this seems like some pretty good feed. I mean, I'm going to try it, see how it does. And... We're gonna go from there, but as soon as I run out of this wet stock and the cracked corn, I'm gonna start feeding them this. And you can tell in the bag, it's got a bunch of the like the sweet feed, cracked corn, and like some rye stuff in it. So we're gonna try it and everything. That's all I got on the goat feed today. I do give them hay, and we'll probably walk out there and look in their barn. I just lay hay down for them to have bed, and they eat it as they go. But um. We'll take a trip out there and see what's up, guys. So, I did ear tag the two nannies. That, I wanted to get that on camera, but that was a job and a half by itself. And trying to catch them at the right time. Uh, everybody knows Spot. He's a little camera shy. He don't, he don't do too well with it. But we'll get in here and take a look i did get them a mineral block i'll show y'all that I actually threw the, the wrapper that came off of, i threw it away so i had to find it on the on the internet and everything but it's getting here so the past couple times i've been in here he's been wanting to stand up at me rear up and try to headbutt me but this is a mineral this is a mineral block that i got him it's a little big i think it was it was around, I think it was about 15 bucks. And it's got all, it's got molasses in it, you know, salt, copper, all the, all the goodies that, you know, goats like and everything. They sell them a little smaller, I mean, I think, but I'm trying to get more goats as we go. And it's just easier to just buy one big one and just, as we add, let them get to it. But this is the bedding. I just took regular hay, sprinkled, I think, half, about a whole bell out in there. And they've been getting in there on them cold nights and eating it and everything. So, and the shack I built was taking a little bit of a, a little bit of a rough to the weather. I forgot, I ain't painted it yet. I ain't forgot to, just ain't done it yet. So, such spot. He sure does like he scratches behind his ear. Can't eat my shirt. Can't eat my shirt. He scratched behind that ear. And then he still won't come up to me. They don't. They don't think too kindly, especially considering I ear tagged him. Yes, I ear tagged one yesterday and one this morning. So they they still don't think too kindly of me. But my wife did get some videos yesterday of him rearing up at me and everything. I'll put them in the video while we messing with him. 
but he does got some pretty good size horns that you can't wrap your damn fingers around them. But we ready to see how big he gets, see if he's gonna get as big as his daddy. Better quit messing with me now. But he show his thing, he's starting to smell like old Billy. You can tell she don't. She's still raising. Don't know what I'm gonna do with her. Son, as you can see right there, he tried to get me. Back up. This is what I get for scratching your ear. I ain't gonna mess with the girls no more today. He sure does. Sometimes he's fine, other times he's just a little butthole. I reckon God didn't bring no feed this time. It sure does like that ear scratch. But let's try to make it out of here alive. Without him messing with us too much. But he sure is a good looking one. Like I said, he's Kiko Boar Mix. So we're going to see how he does. guys so i got everything done in the video i want to talk about today i showed you the goat feed showed you the lights and everything now i'm having to do some honeydews just got me a little fire built burning some trees over slapping the house and um i will be back i'll show you some footage on how far these lights shoot out and everything and i'm gonna still try to post daily it's kind of hard too with not much to do but try to make it as interesting as possible for y'all so i'll be back probably whenever it gets dark i'll pick up the camera again and show y'all how far these lights shine until then I'll be what's up guys so i'm back to give the review on the lights these lights are really bright that's what's keeping my <laughs> face lit up and everything but let's see here you really can't tell it justice on camera, which this one's pointing more at the more at the ground to see. Like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty bright. I mean, it's it shines. There's a big old pecan tree, not directly behind, but not that, but the one behind it, and it's it's shining over there. Let's see if we can get this other one to click on. Yep. So this is the other one. It shines all the way, which you can see how far it shines. That's probably on half half battery life. But that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for today. Like I said, I'll leave everything in the description below to what all I use feed-wise, mineral block-wise. <clears throat> and I'll leave these, these lights in the description and everything. But they're good for now. I gotta put another one on that side to open that up there, light it up. But they're bright. I mean, I like them. But don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you sit down and just cut off. 
Go ahead and get it cut back on. There it goes. And um, like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Y'all let y'all know whenever I post a video. And that one behind me is on, I think, one of the minimum settings on shut off. And this one's on a logging setting. But y'all come back now.